believe you paid for that car service all the way from the city. That? That was not a car service. That was a Craigslist killer. We're alive. We made it. We made it. <laughs> well, you dropped bank. I would have just taken the train. I guess singing for baby millionaires pays well. Best baby show in New York City? B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O, Bingo was his name, oh yeah. What are you doing? Uh, I'm expecting a call. From who? The law offices of Chinky Winky and Poe? Fiona's not calling. She's moving the rest of her stuff out today and she might need something. Well, she can call any number of the hipsters she was getting mustache rides from when she was with you. Fiona likes facial hair. I can't help that. I heard that mustache wax causes UTIs. Really? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. How bad is this going to be? Depends on how drunk Aunt Bev is. I bet Aunt Bev is three sheets to the wind and Chuck storms out within five minutes. Ten dollars. Five. All right. Um, but if I lose, can I pay you next week? I just dumped all my money on the Craigslist killer. <laughs> Same these, me too. Okay. okay. That's a well thought out. I think I'll lift. I fall. Yeah, there you go. I don't think Chuck's aged a mom, bit. Mom, 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 mom! Well, he certainly hasn't matured much. <laughs> oh, I could just eat you up. You look like a fucking Hummel. Happy birthday, dipshit. You don't look like a Hummel, honey. If you did, I'd make Randy climb into the attic and bring one down for you. He's too young to know what a Hummel is, Randy. Leave him alone. Pour your mother some more of that cheap Australian Chardonnay straight from the outback. Feed your mama, feed your mama. Good. All right. 30 years ago, when I was 30, I gave birth to my beautiful baby boy. Golden child. Randolph, shut up. It's time to take our seats for the show. Courtside. May the best man win. Sorry, Charles. Daddy. Don't think I don't see you rolling your eyes at me, Cheryl. I'm not blind. Beth, I can let it go. Cheryl never gets out of the house anyway. <laughs> oh, Megan Douglas. Hello, love. Oh, thank you for making it to Connecticut. Oh, Douglas, you should have brought your guitar so you, you could play my baby some of your baby music. As I was saying, it was the first day of spring. I remember, Charlie, because your father had just signed the divorce papers. From, from my mother. From my birth mother. His first wife. Yes, Randy, thank you so very much. You're such a good listener. You come right in there, don't you? Yeah. It was 6.01 a.m. It was the first day of spring. I was crowning, you know, when the baby's head starts like this, coming out in my mind, meditating on the, the job of mothering wasn't done. Then... As the spring crested on the dew-dropped horizon, Charlie's immense cranium breached the existential horizons of my vagina. Happy birthday, Charles. Happy birthday to you. Uncle Charles, can I borrow five bucks? 